Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Football Manager 20, our journeyman save, climbing the ladder. We are FK Carl Scrona, our fifth club of this save. We are in Season 6, Episode 3 with this particular club. And uh, season's going pretty well. So we've got a little bit of catching up to do. Transfer windows just opened. Uh, so we had the big, long layoff. Uh, after last episode where uh, we got crushed by BK Hawken and then uh, destroyed Malmo in return 4-0. A couple of 4-0 wins lately. Uh, we beat AB in a friendly 2-0. We beat Elfsberg, uh, who is our opponent today, 3-1 in a friendly. Michael O'Driscoll with a hat trick. And then we beat AIK in a league match 2-1. Pontus Paulson and Ollie Jacobson with goals there. We had a friendly with Celtic. They came down, uh, that's from Scotland, right? I think so. Celtic, Scotland, Ireland. I don't remember. Ireland. I'm guessing with the, uh, I forget. No, it is Scotland. Ah, go with your gut there, RC. Gee whiz. <laughs> I knew that was right. Celtic and Rangers. Hell, I did a save with Rangers. Um, thought it was Scotland. But anyway, the four-leaf clover threw me off. Uh, then we just uh, beat Kalmar 1-0, Michael O'Driscoll with another goal. We're back for Elfsberg and Sunval today. We do have a little bit of news. So first off, let's jump into our staff window. We've added a couple of uh, new coaches. Uh, one of our our top, our top coach, not our assistant coach, but our top coach got poached and spoiled. Uh, i got a question about poaching for you guys. Um, in the comments, I have noticed lately, and I have never seen this in Football Manager before. Maybe I've just never played with good enough teams. But I have noticed that I am getting emails on occasion that a youth player in our system has been poached. And that's what they say. Uh, such and such a player has been poached. And I'm like, I never got an email notification that they were under bid, you know, nothing. So uh, I don't know what that means. If you know what that means, let me know in the comments because obviously I'm missing something probably pretty obvious. Unless these are youngsters that I decided not to sign and they get, you know, signed away uh, because I didn't offer them a contract. Anyway, uh, moving on. So we lost the coach. Uh, we brought in uh, a new coach in, must be this guy, Matthias Soderstrom. Yeah, it was him. So he's pretty well-rounded in all of his coaching. Potential and ability are at least average. Norway, Sweden, pretty solid. Uh, don't know what his history is. Let's take a quick look. So he was a player, got into coaching in 2052, so about a decade ago. Uh, an interim head coach at Ottavold, Od, Od, reserve head coach, interim head coach, and now the, so this is his actual first coaching job. So uh, we hired him. Well, I had put the advertisement out, and he was uh, the guy that I really wanted because he had you know kind of the best best overall ratings to bump up our skills, right? And I noticed a name sitting in that in the list of candidates in that had responded to the job advertisement and it is Stian Neslund and if you've been following the series that name might just might ring a little bell for you let's take a look at him yeah you remember that face look at that he, he was one of our players for Halson back in 2046 to 54 so if we take a look at his milestones uh, he was a player, 2046, and then we released him on a free transfer <laughs> while I was there, because the, I was there till 2055. So, uh, yeah, so this was one of our former players. Very, very cool. So he jumped up, and I said, and I wasn't going to sign him, but then I started looking at it. I said, eh, not bad, not bad, pretty solid. I like a lot of that. I think he's going to be, I mean, he's a well-rounded young coach. So I said, hell yeah, I'll sign him, you know? So we may, uh, this may, I've never done it before. I know a lot, a couple of other guys that do journeymans, uh, you know, they kind of have a thing where they sign, you know, the same guy 
Uh, Loki, for example, Loki Doki, it's Yap Stam is always his assistant is his assistant manager um, or his assistant coach. So uh, you know maybe uh, that's what Stian Neslund will uh, develop into. But uh, anyway, so I thought that was interesting. Uh, also, let's see. I, oh, we need to go in and look at transfers. So this is going to be right here at the end. We've only sold one player. Uh, Gel Selenius, one of our former top strikers, goes for 7500 to Radomiak Radom. Um, he's not bad. He's not bad. He's just fallen off and just hasn't played a lot. If we take a look, he, he only started 17 league matches with five goals last year. And that was after his, his breakthrough season, 12 and 28 the year before. So uh, this and this year he just, you know, two, two, two starts. And I said, you know what? I've got a new striker coming in. He's expendable. So we moved him off. I didn't get as much as I wanted, but, um, you know, that's how it goes sometimes. Looking on the incoming list, we did bring in three new players. So Gabriel Kuniko, you guys saw last episode, I believe. Uh, we're bringing in Elijah Lloyd from Sheffield United on a free. Uh, he just joined us. He's a 21-year-old uh, from Barbados, international player, 32 caps and five goals for Barbados. A three-star current, four-and-a-half-star potential. He can play up top, mid-center. He can play on the wing. Crossing's not great, but he's got physicals. He's got decent passing to play the mid. I think he could do the job with that passing on the left wing as well. If we ever develop a number 10 position, which I don't foresee ever doing that because I don't, I've never seen a tactic with the number 10 in it that worked real well. Um, so, eh, you know, but never say never. So we'll, uh, but he, he, he can play there as well. So he comes in on 56 and a half thousand, uh, per year, uh, valued at 3.1. I think he's a pretty solid get, uh, for us. I don't know. Now they just came in, so this will be debuts if they play. Uh, we brought in Sam Betts from Barnett on a free. He's a 26 year old English player, three and a half star current four star potential. Again, midfielder. He can slide out to the right wing and do the job, I suppose. But he's very pacey, got great agility. Mentals are, you know, average to above average. First touch is brilliant. Uh, passing is real solid. Technique is as well. So looking forward to him in the midfield. We do have a pretty crowded midfield. So, you know, that's, that's the only concern. But some of these guys, I'm like, I just can't pass up on them. Uh, and then we did buy one player, Christopher uh, Christian Aiden from Arzignano Valciampo. Close, maybe. $72,000. He's a 26-year-old German back line player. Uh, he can play center back. Probably won't play him there. Uh, but uh, I think he's going to be more suited to right back. Very, very good physicals. He's already maxed out at 26 years old. Uh, mentals are pretty solid. He's got good heading, and uh, crossing is acceptable. He can play a little defense in an attacking style, and uh, so yeah. So anyway, I thought he and I think he's gonna probably, I think he could take over the starting role. I think. Now on the other side of things, we do have another player that we signed, uh, and one player, Tim O Tim. Kvist, I have no idea. Tim Quist, Kist, I, if you guys have any idea, uh, I'm going to rely on Tom because Tom is Swedish. Tom, how do I pronounce this name? Got no idea. Because any word with Q in it in America has a U after it. So I don't, the, the V is freaking, freaking my brain out. So I'm going to say it's Kist, but... I'm not going to call him Kissed. We'll just call him Timmy Boy or something. But, uh, you know, he's pretty solid. But he's more of a future player, uh, four-and-a-half star potential. Uh, the other guy that we're bring, uh, we sold, Mike, or Michael DuPont, we've got two offers on for end of contract. He's, he's become a bit player, just can't really, you know, he's like third in the depth chart on the right side. Signing the new right back that we just looked at makes it made him expendable. So he's going to be out on an end of contract at the end of the year. This guy, 
I'm pretty excited about. He is joining us on a free from Sandez, and it's Magnus Carlsen. He's a Swedish keeper, 28 years old. And, uh, yeah, he's pretty, pretty solid. If we do a comparison with our current uh, German starting keeper, he's a couple of years older, but uh, you can see he's got slightly better shot stopping, uh, distribution, and aerial, he's about the same. I think eccentricity, to me, I think you'd want to stay away from that because what does that tell us that is? Yeah, we, we'll have to look, but... Solid communication. Everything else is pretty close. A little less physically imposing. Uh, not sure I want to. Not sure I want to get rid of Herbert, uh, but I don't think we'll be able to play both of them. So by bringing in a Swedish number one, I can free up a foreign spot and have you know one more Swedish player on the club. So uh, anyway, that's what's going on. Also, you'll notice maybe maybe you noticed the transfer budget went up as did the payroll budget, and that's because we sat down with the board uh, at the transfer window, and they said, "Do you want to reevaluate your pro proposed ending to the season?" And we were picked originally to finish uh, out of relegation. Well, we're sitting fourth right now with a game in hand so we were second before nor coping and arebro played so we're in top three position so i said yeah we'll finish top half and they gave me a little bit more uh, transfer a little bit more payroll bump budget which i needed because of the extra players that we had signed so anyway that's what's been going on so we've got a former player on our coaching staff very excited about that and then a couple of new, well, three new players in now. A uh, new player coming, a new keeper coming in into the season. Let's get to the match today. We're playing Elfsburg. We have beaten them twice. We are underdogs here. So let's see. All right, Bailey's going to come in. Uh, we do have uh, Dietert is suspended. Uh, Sam Betts is injured. Uh, he comes back, and I knew that. He comes back in three days, plus he needs to get fit. Uh, who else in here? Let's see. Aiden. Aiden slots in for his debut. Uh, Lynn back. All right. Yep, he's there. A lot of people looking at him. Costman's back. Bjork uh, had to come in. Costman got hurt in training, and Bjork came in and made his debut and got a clean sheet. We've got Seeger, Evans, Gunners, Thompson, and I want Paulson. That's who I want at my number two. Uh, also, real quick, um, well, I tell you what, we'll do this towards the end of the episode. We will take a quick look at the leagues that are loaded. Uh, we did have a question posed from one of you guys uh, uh, yesterday. Uh, on yester uh, I don't remember what episode it was, but on uh, the Thursday video. So, uh, We'll take a look at the question, and we'll answer that question for him, and uh, we will do that at the end of the video. So stick around for that if you're interested. Aiden picks up number 36 on his kit. All right, we are going to encourage the team. Everybody's morale is doing pretty well. They are in definite positive states of mind. This tactic is coming together. It's looking it's looking pretty solid. Uh, Celtic, we drew 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, we were supposed to be destroyed. Uh, Nikonen comes out and grabs that one. Punches it out. All right, Seeger. Up to Gunners, who's back from his injury before the break. Oh, he beats his man with a deft dribble. Lays it off to Aiden, who makes the run. Plays it up to Thompson, sitting on a yellow card. Oh, Gunners comes flying in to hit that rebound and just blows it over the goal. All right, mark him tight, boys. Mark him tight. Oh, stolen. Evans finds O'Driscoll. O'Driscoll is having a hell of a season. Oh, he squares it in. Paulson blows it. And O'Driscoll knocks it out of bounds. 
Oh, that was a brilliant ball from O'Driscoll, and Paulson could not find the net. Very disappointing. Very disappointing. All right, Aiden lays it off to Thompson. They're working in a good partnership. Oh, there's a big, oh, that was right on target. Nikonen gets his mitts on it. Just barely beating our striker, making the run. Okay, there's a ooh, rough, rough attack right outside the box. Could have been a penalty, I suppose. Let's tell him to get creative. Six shots, five on target. 10% possession advantage. Liking what I'm seeing. Oh, there's a nice header. Unfortunately, nobody's in the midfield. It gets over him. Shot wide. Oof. Dangerous ball. All right. Final minute. We've got a minute of stoppage time. Aiden takes the throw into the box. Sets up a corner. Okay. Elfsburg, man. That's a pretty nice, nice size stadium. Two burger vans. Look at that. Two burger vans over in the corner. Aiden finds it, lays it off to Evans. Paulison. No, they're gonna play around with the ball. Couldn't find a way to break it open in the box. That's a little disappointing. All right, we do appreciate the efforts. We've got a couple of players on that nasty yellow. And let's get back on the pitch. Let's show some passion. Gunners, there's a header. Pontus Paulson, his fourth goal of the season, puts it in from the back post. We have the 1-0 advantage. Got to like that. Got to like that. Eight shots, seven on target. You can't, uh, only two chances, though. Let's give him some praise. Okay, we've got a set piece, danger area from Nordgren. Oh, punched over by the keeper. Kostman got to that ball, looked brilliant doing it, punches it up into the stands. We'll have to defend a corner, but that's okay. Bailey puts it out. Evans gets there and clears it across the midline and lets us push out from the, our end of the field. Very, very good work. Again, we're uh, on the road, and we bring one, <laughs> one traveling fan. Whoever that fan is is very dedicated, so much appreciated. Gunner sends that one wide of the mark. Not enough bend on the ball. All right, let's go ahead and Thompson for, I'm going to move Gunners out there, and then we'll bring Jacobson into the middle. Um, let's go ahead and pull Kaneko for Aiden. All right, we'll do that. Let's do a passion shout for... We got a little bit of lag there. Oh, Kostman could not get to that one. Adrian Yelm, nice, nice header into the far, into the far post. That was a little unlucky, I'm thinking. Werner home first touch he was marked Costman looks like he may have gotten a hand on it but not enough force to knock it away that's a little disappointing all right Lynn back into the box Evans is there out to Lynn back holds it up near oh he puts it in into the six yard box Werner home gets the clearance. Oh, he's running stiff legged. What's the deal with that? Kostman with the save. He was running kind of funny. He wasn't bending his knees. That was odd. Yeah, well. All right, Victor Seeger for Coco. Coco beware. All 
All right, the clock's running. He's wasting time. Hello. All right, ref, blow the whistle here, man. Time wasting. Come on, dude. All right. Let's get some passion for the final five minutes in stoppage time. It's taken away by Jacobson. Lays it off to Evans. To Bailey. Oh, Bailey with a poor entry pass. All right, Bailey gets it back. Yeah, he's not a playmaker. That's horrible, man. All right, Gunners finds Jacobson. Jacobson shows him how to do it. Kaneko up to the touchline, lays it off to Gunners. There's one. No, oh, offsides. Come on. I I don't know about that. All right, where's where's O'Driscoll? That's O'Driscoll right there. Oh my God, that foot. He's even with that guy's right leg. That's bullshit. I think that was a horrible call. All right, well, I can't uh, can't do another shout here. There's Evans. All right, he reverses field over to Lindback. Plays it back to the keeper. Um, we're going the wrong way, fellas. All right, O'Driscoll heads it down. Evans brings it up, plays it over. Coco with the run. Oh, he cuts it inside. Albin Gunners, his second goal of the season, puts us up. Very, very nice. Late goal in the 89th minute. Brilliant ball work. Reversal of field. Crosses. That was very nice. All right, we're going to say tighten up. No, don't don't lose it this way. Clear it. There we go. All right, five minutes of stoppage time. Woo, two to one. That's a big win. So they were favored. They outshoot us. Uh, we have a better, we have 80% on target. Three chances to four created. A little lucky there. They did come back, but we held on. That jumps us back up into second. Only four points behind Hammerby. Uh, we do appreciate the efforts. And let's see. What else? Carl Scrona edge out. Close encounter. Aiden makes his debut. O'Driscoll set for a pay increase. 75000 a year is not going to be bad. He's got 5 and 14 in the league, 4 and 5 in friendlies. But he has been leading the attack, our 22-year-old Irishman. Uh, so anyway, we come back uh, in a few days for Sunval. So I will see you guys then. And yeah, I don't think he was offsides. Let me know what you think in the comments. See you in a second. All right, guys, we are back. As I promised uh, last, uh, well, at the begin earlier in the in the video, uh, we were going to go over a couple of questions. So, uh, L L LFC Taz, one of our new one of my newer subscribers, uh, has been very active on the channel lately. Double thumbs up. Uh, much appreciated. I love the comments uh, because the interaction is what I enjoy most about doing this. Um, talking to people from different parts of the world and just, you know, building a relationship and just getting to know people. And, you know, I think that's great. That's what I like. Um, I do sales for a living, so I love talking to people and getting to know people. So LFC Taz. Now, a couple of videos back, I made a comment. You know, we were talking about the struggles I was having with my reputation with my coach in this game. Uh LFC Taz uh, had made a comment that he had a coach that was 105 years old. And I brought that up in my uh, video. Well, now he says, I was just taking the piss out of you. He's only in his 70s. I didn't think you would take me literally, but then, then he threw this, just a little dagger in the back. I forgot Yanks don't do sarcasm. Seriously? 
you do realize sarcasm does not come across in written words. It's a verbal thing. So, and, and I didn't think you would, I thought you were my bud. I thought you were my friend. I didn't realize you would lie to me to make me look bad on camera, but that's okay. By the way, hashtag sarcasm. Um, so, but anyway, but no, I think that, you know, I, you know, that could be a thing, but you know, I was speculating why my reputation wasn't going up. Uh, then, uh, James Richards, uh, hadn't heard from him in a while. Uh, but he evidently has been a two year subscriber. Thank you very much, James. Uh, he said he started watching my channel, uh, when I did the, uh, journeyman save and ended up at Villarreal and that was FM 18. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure that was FM 18. So two years, man. Thank you very much. Uh, he wanted to see what leagues we had, in particular the Liga Nos in Portugal. Scotland, Poland, no Portugal. Sorry. No Portugal. I could add Portugal, I suppose. Uh, add a league. I know Portugal's in Europe. See, I didn't add Holland, and usually I'm 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 a big Holland guy. But uh, okay, Liga Nos is their top league. Eh, I'll add it. What the hell? I don't care. I mean, you know, my estimated game speed sucks already, but it's not bad. Uh, so now I don't think that comes in immediately. It'll come in after. Yeah, it won't come in until July uh, June thirtieth of next year. So we're a year away from seeing that. So no big deal. Um, his uh, thought was possibly the level of competition that we're at. So if we look at the Alavascan, we're number 19 in, the, in, in Europe. So we're ahead of the championship. We're just behind the Arita Vise. Yeah, I forgot that's not going to show in there because... I didn't select it to play. None of these are picked. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, you can't switch between these. I wish you could scroll up and down, but you can't do it. Uh, so anyway, I mean, we're number 19 in all of Europe. So there's really not a lot of leagues. The other problem that we've got is if you look at our club, I mean, the club, you know, our club reputation is is right in my wheelhouse. But let's look at, uh, I mean, Elfsberg. They're a top-level team. They're two and a half stars. Reputation. And getting hired is a reputation thing. Hammerby is three and a half stars. Uh, Tom's Club, three stars. Nor coping. I had to think about it for a second, Tom. Sorry about that. So if we look at my reputation, I'm only one and a quarter stars. So there's nowhere for me to go. So, you know, that's why when we had, I had done that, that question video uh, about a week ago, it was really the only other option is to either stay here. Even if I do well, I don't think I'm going to get job offers at a higher, you know, Hammerby's not going to offer me a job, uh, nor Coping won't offer me a job at three stars. Um, the only thing I could do is step down to a much lower level, basically where uh, where Carl Scrona started down in Division One, because these are the clubs that are in the one to one and a quarter star ratings. I'd have to go back down and, and win titles again. And that's, you know, and that may be what to do. But, you know, on the flip side, you know, I, you know, I think I'm going to see this through and just, you know, I usually do two saves a year. So we'll probably put an end to this at some point. But anyway, I wanted to point out the questions. If you uh, just skipped ahead to the match, that's fine. Uh, but uh, I hope that helped you guys out. And I do appreciate all the comments, all the thoughts. Much appreciated, guys. Let's get to today's match. We're playing Sunval. We are pretty heavily favored. Let's go ahead and pick our team. Gunners is going to go up top. Betts, uh, he is back so uh, from his injury, but he is a new player, so he'll be making a debut today. I am excited 
I think because Evans is also English, this pairing could be really good in the midfield. Thompson and Seeger on the wings, Lynn back, Aiden Palace, and Dieter's back, Kostman in the net, and Gunners moves up top. Gunners has got uh, he's got decent finishing, but he's just really good. And so I kind of want him on the pitch at all times, if I can. And that may mean he's going to be our number two striker. Um, I like Paulson. He's got four and seven. Where's, no, that's not what I wanted. Where is his, here it is. Yeah, I don't look at this screen a lot. So this is, this works backwards. Okay, ma that's match number. So he didn't make his first start regular until game 11. Back-to-back -back games, then he went, but he's had two goals in four matches. AIK was a friendly, so that doesn't really count. I think that was a friendly. No, Elsberg was the friendly. Anyway, all right, let's get to uh, let's get to this. I am going to go with Gunners. Paulson's on the bench. Aiden Paulson, Sam Betts. Yep. Oh, that's something else I started doing this season. Uh, is when you have your reserves or your U19 or 18 squads playing is put your guys that aren't in the first team at, uh, available until until they reach match fitness. And then I have noticed that more of our, I mean, if we look at, if we look at our roster here, I mean, only a handful of guys are not match fit. And most of those, you know, just – because they've been playing, but not a lot. But look at everybody else. I mean, in the sub list, they're all pretty high up there. Uh, these are new guys. They're coming off of injuries. So, all right, encourage the team. Let's kick it off. Woo, scared of heights. All right, Geld, Field, Field. I don't know if the F is silent. Oh, okay, bets. Bet's fighting for the ball. Stick your nose in there. I have flashbacks every time I see my defender trailing. Uh, I, I picture the little redheaded uh, Hallen. Woo, that was a dangerous ball. No, go the other way. All right, Aiden finds Thompson. Oh, there's a brilliant ball. Gunners. Oh, just a little touch to the near post. Brilliant composure to just barely tap that one past the keeper. Gotta love it. One nil advantage. They are playing with uh, eight deep. Oh, I thought that was going over the keeper's head. Field, field. Bob Seeger. I think it would be funny if I named all the players after my favorite rock stars. Nikki Six down in the corner. Tommy Lee up from the back line. Vince Neal. Oh, just shoots it wide. He's a little out of shape. But he's working on it for this year's season. The upcoming world tour, Motley Crue. Anyway, favorite band. Oh, headed over the goal. Come on, boys. Let's get creative. Ooh, they're pressured. What? What? Get creative? No! Uh, penalty and Niels Pallison. He's our center back, yeah? Okay. That was a good penalty. But why is he taking the penalty kick? Because he's not bad at it, I guess. Wow. You just don't usually see a center back step up to take the penalty. Huh. 
All right, 2 0 advantage. We are doing well. Let's give him a spot of praise. Oh no. Oof. Just went wide. The keeper came out for that. Did not get to the ball. Looked very much like Kiko Casilla on one of his flubs. All right, Thompson. Oh, another brilliant ball. Gunners. Oh, I thought he had the post. He is showing some real composure and dangerous ability up at the top near the net. Wow. All right, Aiden. Back to Pallison. Oh, he loses it. He gets his pocket picked. Kosman with the save did a good job to keep himself big there. Oof. Don't like to see that. Don't pussyfoot around with the ball, man. Just get it out. All right, a couple of flick on headers by the defense. Let's show some passion, boys. Ooh, aggressive. That's them. Oh, we're frustrated. Ten shots, six on target. Two nil advantage. Good performance. Evans, watch your step, if you don't mind. Everybody's playing well. A 6-5 by O'Driscoll, our worst performance. Maybe we'll give him some time off. Betts joins the family with his first yellow card of the season. Lynn back. Plays it back. Poor, poor ball. Oh, Gunners, nice header out to Thompson. He puts it through. Oh, Dr oh Driscoll with the brilliant layoff, and Victor Seeger places it. Deft shot. That was a beautiful setup by O'Driscoll. That's O'Driscoll here. That was very nice. Oh, just a little drop pass. Oh, that was so sweet. He picks up an assist. He's uninterested, though. You know what? So let's bring on uh, Paulson. And I'm going to go ahead and pull. Betts is still working on his fitness. So we'll bring Ollie Jacobson in for him. Uh, we'll praise him. All right, Jacobson with the nice header. Thompson looking for... Oh, no. Felon Goff, man, he has been all over palace in this match all right thompson gets it back he plays it back again all the way back to the keeper costman good save um yep i'm i'm not very happy with him right here ball playing defender I'm gonna drop I'm gonna drop both of these guys to central defense. I don't think I need them playing with the ball like that. They're they're making me too nervous. Although we have been on, you know, we're doing well, right? All right. Uh Aiden or Kuniko. Let's show some passion down the stretch. See if we can get them fired up a little bit. That wasn't very attractive football. Oh, stall. What a save. Evans puts it up into the stands. Kosman did a great job there. Trying to keep hold of that clean sheet. Back into Augustine, across the goal. Nobody's there, and it will be a goal kick. Everybody was standing around. I was kind. Of, I was looking for a penalty there. Three minutes of stoppage time. Jacobson. Oh, and Field, Geld, Field. I'm thinking it's Field. 
he's not my player. What do I really care? <laughs> All right, that goes over. That should get us only only a few seconds left. There we go. 3-0, clean sheet. Got to like that. 14-9, six chances created, three goals scored. That is very nice. Tell the team we love it. Quality of possession. Seeger, six dribbles. Uh, we'll tell him his chances. He's exceptional on his morale. Bets with his debut. Our run goes on. We are at five matches in a row with a victory. And I believe all those are league matches, too. I believe so. Good deal. Good deal. Uh, Tim Kvist. Tim Kist. Do I want this guy? This is one my my general manager. I just kind of turned him loose. He can he can find players, but he can't uh, he can't sign them. He can make offers, but I I have final say so. So this guy is a Swede. He's twenty. He's not on a lot of money. Says he'd be, you know, only number six right now. But he's four and a half star potential. That's what I like about him. A Swede with four and a half star potential. Mm. Yep, we'll accept it. And Rankin, not interested. All right, competition wise, we are back up into second. Now they do have a game in hand, but we're five up on Nor Coping. Uh, only one behind Hammerby. That's not going to last, however. You can see they have yet to lose a game. They're going for the Invincibles title this year. What's your thoughts about Liverpool? If Liverpool pulls an Arsenal Invincibles, are you going to be happy, disappointed? If you're an Arsenal fan, I'm sure you'll be disappointed. But just in general, as a fan of the game, good thing, bad thing? I think it's good that a, Man a Manchester team's not winning it again and again and again. So I'm cool with that. Uh, anyway, just uh, so four losses. Arebro only has two. We've only managed one draw. So we either win or lose, basically. Where do we come back, boys? Uh, we are down the stretch. Tell you what, let's come back. Let's come back for Nor Coping. We'll do a Tom T. Derby. Uh, so Nor Coping is third, Arebro's fourth. I think those will be two big games. So we'll come back for that. And then likely for the season finale. Maybe. One, two, three, six, seven, eight. That is nine games. Oh, no, it's not. One, two, three, four, five, five games. Yeah, that's fine, I think. So we'll come back for Nor Coping at the end of August. And uh, we will see you guys then. Don't forget, hit the like, subscribe, and hit that little bell thing. I hear that's important uh, if you want to make sure you get notifications when my daily videos go up. By the way, I'm a daily video FM channel. <laughs> Just giving you guys shit. All right, we'll see you guys later. Bye.